In this tutorial, we are about to create a, a chair for the CNC operators. And for the start point, we should uh, create these layers of the boots or plastic that we are going to cut for the CNC process. So, um, first thing is that um, making your idea developed, and after that, you should uh, bring it to Rhino and uh, create the profiles. And after it, uh, you should make the 3D model. So, uh, I open another Rhino and go to the front view. After that, we should create the first profile of the curve. Uh, I use this model as my reference. Uh, as you can see, it has a curved uh, line here and I should draw it again in the new uh, Rhino um, application that I have opened. So I go to this uh, control point curve and I make sure that the project uh, icon is checked and then I start to draw the line. So another look at this, after this glance we should draw it, so something like this. Okay, check it with the reference. This part of the uh, bottom is gonna change. Use the control point, for example, like this. Okay, check it again, that's some kind uh, similar to this one, actually we should have some changes here. Like this, okay, uh, after it we should create a copy from it, I use Alt key to uh, create the copy like that. We can move it a bit further like this. And another one would be here in the middle. Okay, and now we should uh, have some profiles here and here. So let's check again. Two here and one would be in the middle. Okay, then click here and bring these control points in the back side, like this. And these should be go back to. <coughs> Bring this one a bit closer to, to the last one, like that, and then this should be go further back. Maybe we don't need this anymore. And I can just bring this up and not this. It's more clean. It's cleaner. Okay. So another one should be copied from here to here. And let's see what we have created so far. Uh, I think we can bring them closer to each other like that. Okay. Loft. Okay, make the view to shade it. That's it.
should change something here. I think uh, this should be go a little bit down and this might be go up like that and then bring them a little bit to the front line uh, again we should loft the curves together like this okay and now we should create the contour line. So I create, I uh, click on the surface we have just created and then type contour. Hit enter, choose the axis of the contour and then uh, define that what value you want between two curves that are going to be created. So I uh, think 0 0.3 might be okay. It's too much. Uh, I guess 0 0.6 might be enough. Bring the lines here and then make a group out of them. After that, you should create the surface. So I just uh, hold on this circle and bring them, for example, like this. I guess it's too much. Uh, I click again and like that. Okay. So you have your chair uh, created, and after that, you should create uh, the thickness. For each layer so I go to this icon here and choose the uh, select last created objects and after that you make a copy with ctrl G and uh, type offset surface uh, you will want to change the normal arrow uh, that you're seeing here uh, you should give it to the backward so I type uh, F enter and right click and it's going to create every layer like this and now your chair is created if you if we go to the arctic view you can see that it's already created and the curves of the uh, chair is uh, dependent on your own concept uh, my last concept was like this and now i have created the other one so uh, if you think that it needs some changes, you can just uh, click them and type Let me change the view to shade it. Okay, click them and type cage edit It uh, asks you that uh, you want a bounding box over the whole uh, object that you have created or uh, the other methods of creating the uh, bounding. So I want a bounding box and uh, I want it to base on the uh, seaplane or board. It doesn't uh, have a very uh, specific um, difference. So I right click or enter and then uh, I think uh, the four control points in each column and row would be enough. So just hit enter and another enter and you can see the control points. And now you have uh, the uh, control over your uh, whole box. So go to the filters and choose uh, control points by just right click on the one you want and others will be disabled. So just the control points and you can change some of the uh, features here. For example, bring these uh, a little bit up and fill do it for you and you can have these uh, points here go up to for example like this okay and uh, if the back side of the chair is a little uh, twisted you can click here and bring them back for example like this okay and now your chair is created uh, so we don't want the filter anymore 
and you can hit escape uh, on your keyboard and the bounding box will be disabled and then delete the bounding box and go to arctic view and you can see the chair is created so I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can write it down in the comment sections as, and I will uh, answer all your problems over this model that we, are, uh, we just created here. Uh, stay tuned, we will have more videos going on uh, and I will be more active for the channel because I had some problems uh, in this past few months, but now it's all gone. Um, okay, I will see you in the next video.